Gout is form of arthritis, characterized by swollen jowing, red, hot and tenderness. During acute gout pain comes rapidly, most common affected jowing is big toe, first metatarsophalangeal joints, the joint in the foot that experiences the most trauma. This condition, gout of big toe, is called podagra. Another common site for acute gout is the extensor tenosynovium on the dorsum of the midfoot. Uric acid crystals accumulate in and around the joint and produce a tophus. Gout is associated with several conditions, kidney stones, hypertension, coronary artery disease, and kidney damage. The main mechanism of gout is the deposition of monosodium urate, MSU, uric acid crystallizes and the crystals deposit in joints, tendons, and surrounding tissues, resulting in an attack of gout. Associated with prolonged hyperuricemia. Persistently elevated levels of uric acid in the blood. Primary gout arises from inborn errors of metabolism involving purine metabolism. But more commonly gout is secondary due to secondary underexcretion of uric acid, UA, in kidneys, 80% to 90% of cases. More than 75% of individuals with hyperuricemia remain asymptomatic. Risk factors for gout. Obesity, metabolic syndrome, overweight, nephropathy, alcoholism, diets rich in red meat, seafood, beer and other alcohol, but most likely beer. Sugar-sweetened beverages or who eat foods that are high in purines such as liver, shellfish, or anchovies. Drugs, thiazide, low-dose aspirin, cyclosporin. Lead poisoning. Acute gout often precipitated by dietary indiscretions, illness, exercise, or emotional stress. Gout more commonly occurs in men over 30. It is more common in men four times than in women. Gout affects about 1-2% of the Western population at some point in their lives. Diagnosis Hyperuricemia greater than 80%, absolute neutrophilic leukocytosis, increased number neutrophils. Joint aspiration is confirmatory. Crystals are present both free and within the phagosomes of neutrophils. The most important differential diagnosis in gout is septic arthritis. Chronic gout is likely to occur if gout is poorly controlled. Acute gout treatment, nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, steroids, or colchicine. Once the acute attack subsides, levels of uric acid can be lowered via lifestyle changes. Weight loss, physical activity, and exercise. Taking coffee, vitamin C, peanuts, brown bread, and fruit. Eating a diet high in low-fat dairy products. Avoid, niacin, aspirin, acetyl salicylic acid, ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, beta blockers, ritonavir, and pyrazinamide. Because they increase gout risk. Long-term medications are not recommended until a person has had two attacks of gout, unless destructive joint changes, TOFI, or urate nephropathy exist. As of 2020 allopurinol is used for preventive and long-term treatment, allopurinol blocks uric acid production, and is the most commonly used agent. Long-term therapy is safe and well-tolerated, and can be used in people with renal impairment or urate stones, although hypersensitivity occurs in a small number of individuals.